Well, I'm very honored to be here and it's my first time. And I discovered like a small, in a, such a small town, uh, somewhere in Ireland, like a, really a magic festival in a magic place, in a wonderful venue. Not only even one venue, there's like so many places every day where you can listen to amazing music. And what is, what is incredible is that you get to meet amazing musicians. Uh, even before having a chance to have a talk, you immediately talk through music, which is the uh, highest form of, di of dialogue you can have with your friends and your colleagues. So you, first of all, jump into rehearsal and get the energy of these new people that you just meet here. And then you realize that behind the scene there is an incredible work of refined thinking and uh, combining uh, repertoires and programs that, that are so interesting and choosing pieces that are completely uh, unknown and yet jewels of chamber music. And um, this for me was uh, just by looking at the um, at the program was already a big surprise. Another big surprise here, actually from the moment I got here, or even slightly before when I was communicating with the office uh, uh, via phone, another very special thing is uh, the kindness. The kindness that everybody has and uh, I had some problems uh, in my arrival because I lost some uh, two flights and my luggage was lost and here everybody was so kind and gentle and so the organization is really impeccable and of course above all uh, Francis the artistic director is like conducting everything as like a perfect conductor. Chamber music for me is uh, really uh, one of the most important thing I I could I can imagine to do as a, as a musician, as a pianist. Um, we, uh, we sometimes grew up and think that we have to work, work, work and improve and get better and, and get better skills in your own instrument and you forget that uh, you have to breathe and you have to open your heart and communicate with other people and share the magic of music as soon as possible with other musicians. First of all, because you learn more, you learn quicker and you get used to different sounds and different timbres uh, in your ear. So the soonest one musician starts this, the better and the, the um, strongest his musical skills and development gets in his life. So um, chamber music is like the highest level of communication between musicians. And, I think this is so important and every musician should do it and should be uh, given to students this opportunity as soon as possible. We pianists are, you know, uh, working so hard and we stay alone and we close in rooms and then uh, we care of octaves and thrillers and uh, there is so much to do because of course we have so many notes and then we forget the beauty of listening and the beauty of waiting uh, for someone else to have something to say. So, um, yeah, I think this is by far one of the most important things actually in life, in the life of a musician. And also, uh, for example, uh, personally, I, I love uh, the piano, but I have, uh, for example, other favorite instruments, which are violin and trumpet. So since I was little, I loved these two instruments. I wanted to study violin. I did a little bit, but then it was too difficult and I was too small. Uh, so in a way, I'm playing a, an instrument that so luckily can embrace everyone else. So uh, maybe I don't play the violin, but I'm so lucky that I can play with amazing violinists and cellists and singers and winds and anything else. So it's a privilege. Well, the references I have uh, for music are so many, so it's difficult to answer. I, I take uh, inspiration from classical players, but also from jazz, from rock. Uh, like, big artists are big artists, so it's very inspiring for me, and I love music in general. Uh, but I can say that uh, immediately when I play with a 
great musician, like for example here, you, the musicians are so great that immediately they become your master. Just somebody you learn from and you grow. And if you grow, you're safe. In a way, it's true that um, music seems to be dying and the audiences don't seem to renovate. On the other hand, I must say that I also see that people are thirsty, are thirsty for, for art, are thirsty for, for beauty. They look for that, they crave for, for, this, for this experience. So I feel very honored that I have the chance and the privilege to provide this a little bit. So um, I think this is important and we must be brave and courageous and kind of keep on. Um, I personally also try always to play for students, for young people to have open rehearsals. Uh, general rehearsals are always for students whenever it's possible. And I teach, I have a workshop of uh, creativity. So it's a like musical creativity training to like open your heart and mind and to overcome all those fears of uh, stage fright and exams and competitions and uh, performances. So it's like a laboratory of one day of complete freedom as a musician, but also as a human being. So I hope in somehow, in some ways, I hope I can help. And that's, that's my part of uh, the big picture. Oh, I'm doing really amazing things uh, now and for the upcoming season. Uh, for example, I'm just leaving from here and I go straight to USA where I'm resident in another amazing festival, which is the Marlboro Festival in Vermont. And that, that's also uh, a, beautiful, a beautiful festival because you do chamber music with amazing people that you just meet there but it's much longer period so you get to rehearse so many hours that sometimes it gets even tiring uh, but fantastic and then uh, well next year is a Beethoven anniversary so I'm very privileged to get to play lots of Beethoven which is one of my favorite composer I will play Emperor and uh, Triple Concerto and uh, yeah and lots of Beethoven chamber music uh, everywhere in the world actually so I will also tour in Japan with the Nagoya Philharmonic and uh, in Italy in different theaters um, when I come back from the summer in USA I will do some concerts uh, with with a project that I like very much which is a jazz fusion um, in which I play with a great uh, jazz uh, Polish jazz pianist Leszek Mosger and I also play musical stones so I had the privilege to meet Pinuccio Sciola, the amazing Italian sculptor, and we, who is not with us anymore, but I worked with him and I learned to play his uh, sculptures that are stones that if you caress, they sing beautifully and they make a sound that has no uh, equal sound anywhere else. It's just like the sound from earth, from mother earth. 